Hey there, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kay, I'm a professional home organizer and today we are going to tidy up and declutter my closet. And along the way, I'll give you some helpful hints and tips to declutter and organize your closet. So let's get this going. So disclaimer, since I do help people organize and stuff for a living, I will probably not have a lot to declutter because I do this pretty regularly. I always recommend that people do it at least once a season, but uh, because I'm also human, I think there's definitely some stuff in there that could go, but we'll see. And first I'll show you what's going on in my closet and I have one drawer that is very, very messy. It's like my Monica place. So here is a view of my closet. Doesn't it have cute wallpaper? It's very, very cute. I've got some drawers here, hanging here and hanging here. And on the side I have some hooks and on the top I've got some shoes and some other makeup stuff up there. I definitely think I'm gonna have to declutter some of my makeup and clean some of my brushes today. I've got these awesome Elfa door and wall racks on the side for extra things, but those can definitely stand to be decluttered as well. Because look at this, what is this? It's like all false lashes. <laughs> on this side it's not too bad, but you know, it doesn't hurt to take a look. Oh, down here I have some other stuff. It's like clothes maintenance buttons and stuff. And we do have a chest of drawers. This mostly belongs to my husband, but he gave me the one drawer at the bottom for my pajamas. And you're not gonna believe it, but it is a complete disaster. Look at that. What is going on? So we're going to straighten that out today. So one of the best things you can do, your first step, if you are decluttering your closet for the first time, is to pretty much look at everything. And this usually requires taking everything out of the closet. I'm going to put my stuff on the bed and see if it's worth keeping. And if it's not, I'm going to put it in a donation pile or a recycling pile. And if it is, we'll put it back and we'll make sure everything is in great condition. Make sure there's no damage to it or if it needs to be dry cleaned, uh, make sure to take care of that. Oh, I also want to say that an instant way to make your closet look neater, this is a total cheat, is to just get all matching hangers. They don't even have to be like those expensive hangers. Right now I have those flocked thin hangers. I love those. Those are the, my favorite. However, any kind of hanger will do as long as they're all the same. The same shape, same general color, like family, your closet will look 10 times neater and you didn't even do anything. So you're welcome. Since I've done a pretty good job decluttering in the past, I am keeping everything that is in here except for three items that I'm decluttering right now. There are a few tanks and t-shirts that just either they're misshapen or I never reach for them. So as much as I love them, like this has my favorite cutest graphic on it, <laughs> classically trained. It doesn't fit me really well anymore and I never wear it. So maybe I'll get a t-shirt with the same graphic on it because I like the way that looks on me more. So we're gonna give this to somebody who's really gonna want it. So I'm gonna put this in my donate pile. And before I put anything back, I wanna go in this scary drawer. This is just something that happens. I had, first of all, this drawer is very deep. So it's gonna be hard to organize without dividers. Um, and ideally what I would do is I would go to the store and buy a divider or I could put things in a bin. Things in a bin may actually be a great idea. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can work that out a little and hopefully we'll get this nice and organized. This is where I have my sort of lounge clothes and I really like this store. This is where all the fun clothes are. So we're gonna see if I can organize it a little better. I already see that there's a pillowcase in here. Doesn't belong. So we'll put that in its proper home. You are away from home. How did you get here? Oh my gosh. Theraband? Wow, Therabands, okay. Well, these don't belong here either. All right, I took everything out. Let me see if I can find an organizer that fits in here so maybe things don't have to be so chaotic. Okay, downstairs I found two water hyacinths bins. They're two different sizes, so maybe I can put them both, maybe I can just put one, but we'll try to fit them in. Oh, that one fits really well like that. So I think 
Maybe that's the move for smaller items. If I put two of the same size, that is kind of nice. Kind of like the way that's turning out. All right, I'm gonna put everything back in and we'll see if anything gets decluttered. I think some things will probably get decluttered because I can't possibly keep everything. Okay, I think it turned out really well. So on this side, I've got like pajama like outfits. And here I've got sleeping or lounging uh, bras. <laughs> and up here I have just like bigger bulkier things like a, a few hoodies and a big fleece one, yeah, like adult onesie. <laughs> But the good news is this is my declutter pile. This is all the stuff I'm letting go of because it doesn't make me happy anymore. So just get rid of the stuff that doesn't make you happy or bring you joy anymore or fits kind of weird. All that stuff can go out the door. So I'm gonna put all of my donations into a bag and make sure I can get these to my car as soon as possible because you don't want to forget about these, put them in a closet somewhere and then they stay there for years. Get them out of your house as soon as you can. Oh, we got to put these away. So TheraBand, this is a hair thing. I'll put this in my hair things and the pillowcase, weird. Before I tackle the hanging, I do think I have to clean underneath that bottom drawer because it might be a little bit dusty. Oh no. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh no. Oh my gosh. First of all, I've got two drawer organizers back there. Why? And then the dust. The dust. Let's get this cleaned up. Ew. Ew. Look, I found like a single one of those magnetic lashes. <laughs> these are not the one, these are, these were not good by the way. So I don't recommend them, but I found, I found, I found one down here. Ew. I think I'm just gonna hate to take this whole drawer out because it's gonna make it a lot easier. Now you can see the full scope of the dust and grossness <laughs> that is there. And this is going to be incredibly satisfying. Okay, so I have this group of four boxes underneath here and they're kind of, they're a little bit strange. One has buttons and clothing stuff underneath here and I think everything in here is fine. It's just stuff I use to take care of my clothes like the, the wool shaver and everything. So everything here looks like it's fine. I go into here every now and again when I need to fix things. This drawer is just full of like my neti pot and a few other things. I can see that this neti pot needs to be cleaned, like clean cleaned. Um, I don't know why there was a Advil in there. And I'm sure this aspirin has probably, aspirin, no, it's Afrin. I'm sure it's expired, let's see. Uh, yes, it's expired in 2020, so we're gonna get rid of that. This is nail polish and tools. I do think I can do clutter a little bit of these nail polishes. I'm. 100% sure I'm not using all of these. This is mint candy apple. I think I painted my nails this color once and like never again. Rocky Rose, I like this one though, but not as much as I like the, the this other color. This color I use a lot. This is called Cliffhanger. I love this color. This color I hardly ever reach for, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I wonder if any of these like finishing ones 
are gloopy. <laughs> this red top coat is a gloopy and gross. Out. You know how they get kind of gross after a while? I think that one can go, but this one can stay. All right, I am done decluttering. I am very basic. It's just reds and pinks and clear and like maybe an occasional fun one, but that's who I am and that's okay. So there's a bunch of earrings I made and stuff in here. So I'm gonna go through this and give, maybe give the ones away that I don't wear anymore. Actually, I might leave that drawer there because that is a, probably a great place for some of my falsies to go. So now's a good time to navigate this sort of side action. Most of these baskets are okay, except for this one. This basket is so sketchy because it's got all of my lashes and like extra makeup stuff in here. And I know there's a, a whole box with makeup stuff in it too that I should pull down right now. So I've got this box at the top of my closet and it's got like, it's full of like makeup brushes and weird stuff from my makeup addiction days. I'm gonna go through and probably get rid of most of this stuff right now. And I'm gonna take this basket off and everything that I don't use is gonna go away right now. So let's do this. The great thing about the Alpha Door and Raw Rack is you can take off any of these baskets. Boom. Here is my makeup counter, and unfortunately, my beloved sensor mirror fell over the other day and cracked like this. So I paid for shipping to Simple Human to go fix it, because these things are like $300 um, or 200, well, this one was like 200 bucks. So I'm gonna go have it repaired, but I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna take it out for now, but I've been using it. I gotta go to the post office. And I just have a little tiny, tiny mess here, so. We're gonna put some stuff back. These are like eye masks and masks and stuff. I don't know why they found their way here, but I'm gonna put these in the bathroom. Uh, eye lure, oh, okay. No, these actually are really good. These are like little tiny uh, magnetic lashes like that and they work really well. So I'm gonna put these in my lash drawer now. All right, what else is in here? Uh, lip exfoliator, okay. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm gonna put this in the bathroom. This is some highlighter that I got. Um, and this is bronzer, that's not a good color. I'm gonna give these away. What is this one? This one is a eyeliner. I'll keep this one, because I love a good eyeliner. And this is just an empty box. Okay, so we'll get rid of the trash. Oh, what are these? I got lashes everywhere. Okay, these lashes I wear, obviously, because I some of them are gone, but we're gonna put these in the lash drawer now. And I got some trash, it looks like, in here. So, and an old pair of lashes. <laughs> Gross. All right, we'll throw those in the garbage. This is eyeliner. This is some razors and stuff. We need to clean these sponges, and I'll take this out and clean it. And here I have my makeup drawers. I've got a couple of dirty sponges <laughs> that I'm just gonna give a good clean to right now. So hopefully when you see these, they'll be much cleaner than they are right now. All right, I have washed these. They're uh, they're stained, but they're definitely clean now. So I'll just leave them here to dry. This is kind of where they live. <laughs> All right, that is a lot better. Put this here. And this, I don't like this little Girlactic lip gloss. It tastes nasty, so we're gonna get rid of that. And this is old, this is old. Um, and the rest of the stuff is fine. I think, yeah, that's fine. These brushes are fine. They just need to be washed. I'll put that there, but maybe I'll give a little bit of a, a little clean before I put everything back there. <laughs> Let's see, do I need to get rid of any blushes? I think it's time for me to let go of this one. I've had it for so long. This is Becca Songbird. I don't think Becca Cosmetics is even a thing anymore. It smells weird, it's time to go. Uh, it's the end of an era, so sad. 
I love this. I never wear it anymore either. So any of these can go. No, I love that color. I love that color. And I love this color too. All right, so this, these can all stay. Doesn't really get touched a lot, so I think I'll give this to a friend. Okay, pretty good. Lots of decluttering there, I think. Anything in here can go. Let's see, this is just eye stuff. All this stuff I wear, this is old though. I know that's old. Um, this, this is also old, sadly enough. So I think this can go. This, um, this I didn't really like, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is, oh, this is eyelash adhesive, so that can stay, that can stay. The rest of this is fine. This is primer. Um, this is little things like that. Um, okay, the rest of this can stay. The rest of it's fine. Yay, got rid of um, all the stuff. And I hope, does this fit in here? No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's annoying. This I know is also really old and is not the same, so it can go. Okay, now there's a little bit of highlighting action here. I think all of these are fine. Okay, I think eyeshadow palettes have been sorted. I think those have been decluttered down to like a very few now. So I think I'm good on eyeshadow palettes. Yay! Okay, these tights, I know you can't see. These tights have a hole in the toe and I've been keeping these for so long with this freaking hole in the toe. Life is too short for me to have leggings with a hole in the toe. So they gotta go. I haven't reached for this belt in years and years and years. Um, it served me well. I think I got this at like H&M or something or Old Navy, one of those like really cheap places. And actually it was pretty good quality, but I have not reached for this in a long, long time. So it's gonna go to someone else. Okay, I'm gonna come right out and admit to you that I am the worst about getting rid of socks when they have holes in the bottom. And I have a number of socks now again with holes in the bottom because I walk a lot because Boston is a walking city. So any socks with holes in the bottom, I am gonna get rid of today no matter how much I like them. So here we go. My heart is breaking right now, but it's gotta be done. There are literally so many with holes. <laughs> what is this? Oh my Animal Crossing socks packaging. I left it in here. Look at this. I got some Animal Crossing socks. I love them. I wear them all the time. This is what they look like. I got it from Target. I am obsessed. All of my favorite ones that are cute and have little cute things on them have holes in them now. <laughs> I'm sad. I need to get a, I need to go to Target, get, go sock shopping. Sock haul coming soon. You know what? These are like cozy home socks. I'm going to put these with my lounge clothes because they're not really like socks for wearing with shoes. They're just lounge socks. So we're gonna find a new home for these. Okay, so whole pile, I'm going to the fabric recycling. So RIP socks. So I have one, two, three empty baskets now. I maybe have done a little too good of a job at decluttering. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm done in here. Everything in the top I'm keeping. So we'll just put everything back and then we will be done. Feels so good. I almost forgot. I'm gonna wipe down and dust, dust and wipe down the shelves in the closet cause it's been a while. So, I mean, we're not gonna do it halfway. We'll do it full. Some makeup, some powder had fallen on these knobs. So I'm dusting it all off. This was the powder on the shelves, ew. Don't forget the closet rod. I almost forgot the closet rod. It gets lots of dust on it too. So the top of the rod always gets dusted. So closet tour, here it is. Everything in here is my favorite. And I just put everything back and I do have little hooks on the side where I just hang some random things. Actually, nothing's hanging there now, but just I have a robe. Actually, let's move this robe <laughs> to the other side. That way we can have both hooks 
doing the work. This is like a lounge robe and this is a sweater. So two completely different things, but the makeup area has been decluttered and reorganized and cleaned up a little bit. Now we've got clean sponges ready to go and everything in here is my favorite. Just at the top here, I have a couple of fragrances and some jewelry. Not gonna show you my underwear drawer, but this is just workout clothes, sweaters and sweatshirts, pants, and down here, a little bit of empty space since I moved all of my lounge clothes into that big drawer. Uh, don't be upset if there's empty space. There's potential room to grow. Just like I mentioned before, there's an empty basket here and an empty basket here. Potential. Also, if I never fill this basket, not the end of the world. And we sorted out everything down in those little drawers down there. And my favorite thing, the lounge drawer, she is done and dusted, looking pretty fabulous, if I do say so myself. All right, I hope that was enough motivation for you to do your closet. Let me know what the hardest thing to declutter in your closet is. Leave it down in the comment below. All right, friends, I'll see you next time. Bye.